Well, well ahoy there, cruisers, and welcome to New York, York City, baby! Woo! So excited to be here. We're doing our first ever cruise from New York City all the way to Canada on the amazing new Enchanted Princess. It's going to be fantastic. But first of all, we are in this lovely, lovely hotel at JFK. We've just arrived all the way from London. Are feeling a little bit tired, but let's take you for a little look around, shall we? So yeah, this hotel is a really cool and special hotel. We're staying at the TWA at JFK Airport, and this actually used to be the TWA airline terminal. And the whole hotel is themed around the 1960s, the era of the jet age, when flying was glamorous and you'd never see people wearing Crocs on flights like I do. Uh, <laughs> let's have a look around because this is an awesome hotel room. Look at this bathroom, it's incredible. Beautiful big lights, so if you're a bit of a superstar, if you're Marilyn Monroe before you're gonna be flying over to Hollywood, you can do your makeup, look cool little wardrobe area. Look how posh, guys. Oh, is that gold, David? A golden coat hanger, because that's how they did it in the 60s. That is going in our suitcase. Maybe a couple of these cocktail glasses too, Ben. Oh, I don't know, they're breakable. They might not make the cruise. The best thing, though, is this view. Come on, let's have a look. We've got a view of the blooming airport, guys. Hello, JFK. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? Super comfortable. You've got loads of lovely little retro furniture, big comfy king size bed. Yes. And that view. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go into geek mode, David. Ben loves his aeroplanes, so this is his pornography. He doesn't need them dirty channels on the TV. David. He's just going to open the blinds and have a good time. I am absolutely not doing that. We're gonna to go to bed now. We're gonna chill out and relax. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. See you tomorrow. So we've arrived at Brooklyn Cruise Terminal and we've dropped off our bags right here in front. It's a little bit breezy, but we're stood right in front of the ship. <laughs> How cool is this? Anyway, this is, it's bizarre to be boarding a cruise from New York, it really is, but always wanted to do this, but let's go guys. Let's get on board. Starving as well, really, really hungry. So yeah, it's super easy. You drop your bags off. Um, if you do get help, we recommend sort of giving a dollar or two per bag as a tip because um, they help you out. They've got a hard job carrying all those bags, making sure they all get on there safely. So give a dollar or two just to show your appreciation. We do this no matter where it is in the world. It's not just the USA, but let's go. Sailing from New York. This has been on our bucket list for so long. So we can give it a big tick. Wow, what can I say? That was the quickest embarkation ever we're getting on the ship already it's literally been seven minutes quickly went through security checked our details did a quick medical check you don't have to even have a test to be on this cruise anymore just quick check of our covid vaccinations picked up our medallions and we're, we're walking on the ship how nice is that this is awesome so let's go guys let's get on the ship boarding the ship i can't believe how quick that was legitimately 15 minutes crazy the fastest we've done it in ages starving first things first let's go get some food eh well that was super quick we are on board and it feels like coming home it really does we love this type of ship so and it was only recently we were on here so it does feel really special and welcoming and warm we should have just left a suitcase really actually because it really does feel like a little second home for us i love it yeah it does feel so nice to be back it's just really familiar and lovely Still smells like a new ship as well. There's live music going on in the atrium. Lots of banners welcoming us on board. Anyway, we're going to quickly head up to our cabin, drop our stuff off, do the muster things. Then we can have a much more of a look around and get some food. Oh, so first things first, we've came into our cabin. You've seen it before. We went on uh, uh, Enchanted Princess about three months ago with my mum, the series with the mum. We've got exactly the same type of cabin and it is really beautiful. So we do recommend go back and take a look at those videos. Oh, it is so nice to be back. These cabins, I was just saying to David, we don't think we'd change anything about them. It's just so, so comfortable. We've got a mini suite cabin. It's cabin E701 on this one. So we're towards the back. I can already see the views back there. Look amazing. I'll take you out in a second. But yeah, lovely cabin. Really, really nice and warm. Really big. Two TVs, loads of things on the TVs as well, which is really fantastic. But first of all, before we do our muster safety video, which you've got to do in your cabin, I've got to go take you outside. Oh, my God, look at this. 
Oh, wow, it's actually stopped raining, which is amazing. <laughs> what a view. We've got all of Manhattan over here, which is like the financial district, and we've got the new World Trade Center building, Governor's Island, and then you've got an amazing view of the Statue of Liberty. This is just, oh, like, pinch me. Is this real? This is literally amazing, guys. Oh, look at this view. Right, let's go watch this blooming video, shall we? It's gonna be done, but remember, it's still so much better than it used to be. You used to have to go to your muster station, listen to a whole drill and palaver with them putting on the jackets and stuff. Now you literally just visit your muster station and then watch a 10 minute video. That is it, it is so easy. So I need to stop complaining. I think it's just because my belly's rumbling and I need some food immediately. I mean, you have to watch the full safety video. It also uses your medallion to sense who is in the cabin to make sure that everybody in your party watches watches it so there's no cheating so we're just watching that now yep you can't avoid it guys you can try all you want but if you're not in the room with the medallion it's not going to register it's not going to register that you're there so yeah make sure you're all in the room watching it together it's only a couple of minutes and it gives you all the essential information that you need that's it safety video all watched and we can see that we've got both got green ticks next to us and we just have to visit our muster station now which is the vista lounge muster station h right should we head down yeah let's head down get that out of the way and then we can totally enjoy this holiday and really get into the cruise so our cabin is actually two doors away from the staircase which is amazing honestly we recommend you always go near a staircase if you can do just because it saves so much time especially on some of the bigger ships where you can be walking for like 10 minutes until you hit a staircase anyway our muster station the vista lounge right at the back of the ship just one deck below so Let's go do that, then we can eat. Oh, I'm starving. Hi. Hi. Yes, I've got to go for some here. Yeah. Hey, Shh. one. Yeah. So open. David. Yep. Thank you. All sorted, right. Food time now. How simple was that? It literally took three seconds. Scan your cards, off you go, done. You've already watched the video. So we've got the full enjoyment of the ship now. We're going to head up, I think, to the buffet for some lunch. Uh, there are a few other options. You've got GG's, which is the pizza area, which is very nice indeed as well. Saving that for another day, because I'm so looking forward to that. Really excited to see what the crowd's like on this ship as well, because it is such a different cruise to any other one we've done before. So it'll be super interesting to see what the feel of it is like. See if it's like the Mediterranean, Caribbean. I don't know. I'll let you know. Right, let's go to the buffet, but first, washy washy your handsy handsies. Let's do this. It's a bit hard with the camera, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I have to swap with David once he's done. We came straight up to the buffet for lunch because we wanted to make the most of this beautiful view looking at New York. How awesome is this? And it's not too busy, it's got a great selection. Got myself a big bowl of salad. I just kept going with all the different selections. And I'm starving, so I'm gonna get right into this. This is so good. It has a little bit of everything on here. They had loads of different selections of like salad bits and stuff. So I had one of everything. Delish. Let us start. Let us. Got a salad as well. Yes, you might be flabbergasted, but hey, I saw David's and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. I really need to get it. I wouldn't go as far as calling it a healthy salad though. It's got lots of bad things in here, like potato salad, lots of dressings, cheese, ham, fresh turkey, more cheese, more bread. I'm gonna go in for my first bite. The buffet, loads and loads of food. I don't need to show you around it again. There's absolutely bonkers loads. The turkey, it's like Christmas in my mouth without the Christmas. I've got this lovely cauliflower as well in sauce and it's been like burned and delicious. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. oh, the cheese is so good as well. It's so good, but so naughty at the same time. I'm kind of tricking my brain into thinking I'm eating good food. We've unpacked one, so we don't have to do it again once we unpack and everything. And we're going to get to see some amazing places in Canada and New England. Plus, lunch is included. Have you seen the cost of food in New York? You can get all you can eat at the buffet. It's going to be amazing. All of you eagle-eyed viewers will notice that I didn't have any desserts. That's because we're going to head down to the International Cafe to grab some yummy, yummy desserts. Really need some coffee as well, because that jet lag is a killer. It really is. Five hours time difference. It feels a lot later than it is, so I need some coffee for a little perk up before the amazing sail away and you know how much I love an international cafe treat. If you didn't know, the food here on Princess is one of the massive highlights and one of the reasons that we love Princess Cruises so much. Deck 14, got to do the stairs as well. This is another thing. You might be wondering, why is he doing the stairs? Well, because you eat so much blooming food that you need to walk as much as you can to burn those blooming calories off. What is David doing? He's like walking around in circles. What are you doing, David? Hi. 
Oh, in the opposite side to you. Or oh, regret this now for <laughs> 11 decks. <laughs> Going down is much easier than going up though, so don't worry about it. And there's a chocolate cookie with your name on the end of it. Oh, I'm going to be having more than a chocolate cookie, my love. <laughs> Just saying. We made you walk the stairs. Three years later, <laughs> we almost made it to the International Cafe. And I do love the International Cafe. I got so excited when Ben mentioned it. It's like, that's a really good plan because they do really good coffee. Oh, and we also need, we need something a little bit warm, don't we? The salad was nice, but I want something a little bit warm and to warm us up because it's a little bit chilly out there. And a bit calorific. Exactly. Something calorific and chilly. We need to layer up. We need to fatten ourselves up because this is going to be a bit of a chilly cruise. Oh, so we came down to International Cafe and we've got an absolute ridiculous amount of cakes and I am here for it. Hit me with a coconut and call me a castaway. That is delicious. Anybody else just love coconut in a dessert? Coconuts like me are a little bit nuts. Nuts in the name. We're going to get ourselves some nice coffee. It is extra pay there, so if you've got a drinks package, you can get the coffee from there. We do, so we're going to get a lovely iced coffee. Just sit in here and soak up the atmosphere of the lovely Piazza. It's one of our favourite places to people watch, chill out, and eat lots and lots and lots of desserts. I'm going to go for the chocolate one now. Nice, but not a patch on this bad boy. Back in our room now, just before sail away, and our bags have arrived. Yay! So, so quick. Thank God they have arrived this time as well because David, twice in a row we went away with no bags and this time we've got everything so it's going to be like a proper little just luxury to have things like shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, yes, pants, underwear, t-shirts, socks. We did have a ever so slight scare where my bag was still in the terminal but Ben's bag was on the aeroplane but it was okay in the end. I think the tag was just in the wrong place yeah. at the wrong time. Recommend Apple tags are amazing. You just get the assurance that they are coming with you, which is amazing. Oh, my days, what do you have in here? I think I packed Oscar. I think you did. Oscar, are you <laughs> hey, Oscar? Stephen and Sophie have found him, he's here. Just kidding. I love unpacking. It really does mean the start of a vacation or a holiday. I love how we've got a nice big wardrobe full of clean clothes. Oh, and we've got clothes, which is a which is a new thing for us, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So happy that my bag came and arrived, and everything came in one piece, us included. I also remember to bring our little band things. Do you remember we bought these like a couple of princess cruises ago? And um, you can just reuse them every cruise. You pop your little medallion in there, so you yeah. don't have to put it around your neck, and it's just the easy way, because that's how you order drinks, that's how you get on and off the ship, it's your cruise card. Yeah, it's used for everything, even getting in the door. Yeah, so if you've previously bought them on a cruise, make sure you remember to pack them. Put them in your bag so you can use them again. Right, should we get things unpacked, and then we're going to watch this beautiful sail away? Can't wait, so excited. Definitely going to be a what-the-heck-is-happening moment. <laughs> So we're getting ready to go now. We're a little bit late because there was some stragglers apparently. So there might have been some people late on a flight or something. So we're leaving 30 minutes late. There was a big rain, a rainstorm a few minutes ago, but that's gone now, which is great. Really strange, just like a boat pushing us into dock because it is quite windy. The captain has came on to say that it's going to be a little bit rough tomorrow, but nothing too bad. We've experienced it before. These ships are fantastic because they're built to withstand uh, movement in the sea. So if you've got to worry about that, don't worry too much because they come with all of the latest technology and stabilizers and the captains always try and keep the ship nice and steady so it's not too bad. It's actually raining again now. I'm excited, I can't wait to go. This is, this is great. Well, somewhere over there is Lady Liberty waving us goodbye in typical British style. Can you believe it? The moment we leave, the heavens opened the clouds came. Well, goodbye, New York, anyway. It's still amazing. <laughs> it's so typical, isn't it, it's though? It's so typical. It is so misty out there. You can just out make out uh, Manhattan in the background and the Statue of Liberty as well. Yeah, we're we're going to go right past. I know. This is amazing. Honestly, a pinch me moment. We've been dying to do this. It's in one of our top cruises that we've never done. There's this, there's Alaska, there's Australia and New Zealand. Now we're doing it. <laughs> and the weather's... Completely terrible. I wouldn't I wouldn't be anywhere else though. Still just as amazing. <laughs> Can you believe this? It's so funny. We're British, we don't even care. Screw it. We're still gonna be celebrating. Let's pop the champagne. This is proper bucket list moments, this is. Wow. Come on. Well cheers David. Cheers. <sighs> and cheers to you lovely cruisers as well. 
I am really speechless, sailing from New York. I can't believe it. And there's always the sailing as well. If you want to get up, 5 a.m., going to see the beautiful sailing again. <laughs> there's not a chance in that. I'm trying to convince Ben to do it. He said no, but I'm going to set the alarm. He won't know. I'll set it. That was so awesome. We just went under a really big bridge as we leave. We're under shelter here. We've came um, down to deck number eight where there's a little wraparound deck and it is covered down here so we can stand outside while watching the world go by. It's not actually cold. It's quite warm. It's about 63 degrees, which isn't that warm, but it's quite warm for us. It's not cold, but it's super atmospheric. This is just magical. Wow. I love going under bridges on cruise ships. It's always amazing. Definitely make sure you're out on the open decks. I just love it, it's so fun. And even though the weather's not great, it's actually, I don't know, it, it, it's still great because it just adds a sort of feel about it. You said it right, Ben, it's really atmospheric. It's got like a certain ambience, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Like the, the ye old days of sailing, <laughs> I don't know. Good morning, cruisers, and welcome to Bar Harbor in New England in the state of Maine. I am so excited. We are here for the first ever time and oh my God, does it look beautiful or what? Oh, it's nice and warm as well and so calm. So excited to get off. We're gonna go on a water tour and take you around this beautiful port. We skipped ahead a few days just because we wanted to get used to the jet lag and everything before we started filming again. So welcome back. We had a canceled port of Newport just because we were on the back end of Hurricane Ian, which was a shame, but hey, we're here now and we're really excited. So let's go get off, shall we? I'm so excited. Morning, David. Good morning, my lovely, lovely viewers. How are you all today? And of course, but morning to you too, Ben. Oh, thanks. <laughs> are you ready to get off? Have we got everything? Yes, super excited. It looks stunning out there. Absolutely gorgeous. It looks wonderful. And it's not raining as well, which is always a bonus. And I it's mean, not that cold. It, it's not that cold as well. I mean, rain's fine, but it is so much nicer, isn't it, when it's not. But I'm still going to take my rain jacket anyway, and I've still got hat, scarf, gloves, and everything for every type of weather, just in case. Right, let's get going. I'm so excited. Already? Let's go. The weather here can be really changeable. It's a bit like the UK, really. Um, we're going to go up on the roof to have a look, aren't we? So, service stateroom is on. And let's head up to the roof to have a look at Bar Harbour. Absolutely never been here before, so it's super excited to explore this place. And you come on with us. What an absolutely beautiful day. I can't believe how warm it is. We've had a few stormy days at sea just because of the hurricane and the aftermath of Ian, like I said. And today is gorgeous. We've got the sunshine, it's nice and warm. There's barely any wind super excited the scenery is just beautiful it's fall here in Maine and we're getting some beautiful colors of reds and greens and golds oh it's stunning and we're doing something a bit different we're getting a tender or what princess cruisers call them as a water shuttle so that means that we're actually not docked we're just tendered off of the coast and we're going to get on a little boat to take us into the center so come on guys let's do this get some amazing views of the ship I guess doing it as well been a while since we've tended David I know I can't remember the last time we did a tender boat a love me tender but a bit of a dad joke there in the morning just to wake you up hopefully it's not too busy it does seem pretty quiet the ship actually I think a lot of people rush to get off the first the tenders at the first thing because they can get a little bit busy in the mornings so I guess unless you've got a tour booked or you've got like a priority disembarkation I'd leave it maybe an hour before you head off the ship because, like I said, the tenders can get busy. So first things first, which we just forgot, you need to go and get a tender ticket to get off the ship. So you go and grab one of these and it'll give you a group or time when you can get on the tender or the water shuttle to go to the dock. So we're going to go and do that right now. We're just following the arrows to the tender ticket station, wherever it may be. This, this way. way. It's going to take us in a big circle, isn't it? It's a big joke. The crew are just seeing how many people follow the signs. Just gonna go keep round and round. So that's it, we picked up our water shuttle ticket. We just need to wait for our number to be called. Simple as that, we're gonna grab a quick coffee from the International Cafe. As you know, one of our favorite spots just because it's open 24 hours a day. Coffee and treats and food and things like that. So yeah, just a matter of waiting now. 
super excited to get on the water shuttle and get some great views of the ship. Thank you. Caramel, yeah? The caramel. Thanks very much. Thank Thanks you. Thanks you too. Got our coffee, David. Extra shots. Clearly. Naturally, of course. Have you met us before? And Ben got a cheeky shot of caramel in his as well. What are you doing? I can't get it in. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, I've destroyed the straw. Enough caffeine to kickstart my heart again. God, that's better than crack cocaine. Not that I genuinely haven't even tried that. I don't even know why I said that. Anyway, we're just waiting here with our coffee. Uh, drinks packages on board are really good. We've got the Princess Plus uh, package, which means we can get drinks up to $12, is it? And uh, includes coffee as well from um, places like International Coffee Cafe. So this is the Posh Coffee, the handmade, freshly brewed iced coffee with some caramel and deliciousness and an extra shot because you know us guys and we've got jet lag on top of this as well so desperately need a lot of coffee today which is good good thing as well includes Hello, bottle. oh there we go everyone. if you are currently holding watch your step up. let's go upstairs shall we get a good view up there it might be chilly but i think it'll be worth it it's chilly oh it is chilly good job i've brought my woolly hat this is awesome isn't it what a view it's really cool and you feel really really tiny when you're in the boat next to the big boat this is awesome though, we're going to get some good views of the ship I think, so if you're out on the top deck, remember to get your phone ready. Winter mode activated, got my hat on because it is a little bit breezy out here. It's not as sunny as up on the decks, but <laughs> super excited for this. We're going to catch a little boat where we're going to go on a little nature cruise. So we've got that in about an hour, so plenty of time to get there. Just bear in mind it can take a while if you've got to wait for a lot of people to get on board and if it's busier it definitely gets less busy in the afternoon for these water shuttles so bear that in mind too if you want to get off straight away as soon as you dock you're going to have a bit of a wait because they do prioritize everybody with those um shore excursions booked but we've got a third party shore excursion so we don't have any priority today i think it's time to set sail let's go <laughs> there we go on our way and it's lovely and smooth today which is great uh, and that sun's came out, which is lovely, but it's a very scenic little sail, actually. This is lovely. So we're just about to dock. The tender's just pulling in now. That was a beautiful sailing, actually. It took about 20 minutes to get from the ship, and we're right around the corner, so we can't even see the cruise ship from here. And we've come all the way around, right into the heart of the, uh, the town. So. It looks stunning, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to get off and explore. There we go, that took about 20 minutes and we're just gonna go on our boat tour now. So luckily, we're just on time. So let's head over for our lovely nature boat tour. Wow, this is spectacular. The colors of the trees are absolutely beautiful. I wasn't expecting it to be so vivid. Oranges, yellows, greens and browns. There's a lovely little park. I honestly feel like I'm in a movie set. It's just spectacular. It's beautiful, very picturesque. Can imagine this being like in a Hallmark movie. It's just, it's beautiful. Wow. Oh, so we came for the cruise now. We booked it with the Bar Harbor Whale Watch Company. Super easy online. I think it was like $39 each. Instructions are all in the email where to come, but the dock was really close to where we got off on the um, tender. So let's head off. It's a nature cruise. It's going to last two hours and we're going to go all across the coast. So let's go. Super excited for this. So we've came onto the boat and it looks like it's going to be a great cruise. The boat's got lots of facilities on board. It's got a little galley downstairs where you can get drinks and snacks. But you can also rent out binoculars, which they said you might need because there's going to be lots of wildlife and nature on here. So I can't wait to see what's in store. We're seeing some amazing things. Lots and lots of wildlife, it's incredible. We just saw looking, look and then suddenly a dolphin just popped up. Incredible. We can see an American bald eagle as well at the top of the tree there. Oh yeah, so there's a bald eagle at the top of the tree there. But no, incredible. I really wish we brought some binoculars or something because there's so much nature to see. Wow, I mean, we've seen some a lot of beautiful places in the world, but this is, has to be one of the best we've seen. It's absolutely gorgeous really really taking our breath away beautiful wow so there's loads of seals here which is awesome little baby seals bar, uh, bay seals ah this is beautiful it's spectacular out here it's so fresh and the air is so clean it's gorgeous wow that was absolutely brilliant we're just heading back into dock now i'm gonna go grab some food i think get some local food really starving because we haven't ate that much today we had a little bit for breakfast but then nothing else so all of the beautiful houses we saw the beautiful wildlife and nature 
gorgeous, feeling very lucky. This is gorgeous down here, absolutely gorgeous. This is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. We've just stumbled upon this. We just walked down and we saw a little path sort of between two trees. They said it was a public footpath and it's brought us down to this, down to the water. Oh, how nice is this port though? This is absolutely stunning. Instantly, it's one of my favourite places I've visited on a cruise. It is. I've got to say, it's so different to anywhere else I've visited for so long. It reminds me a little bit of Norway, yeah. but not at the same time. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's just stunning. We're getting all of these gorgeous colours. They're so vivid as well. I know the cruise was fantastic. It was so much fun. The houses that we saw were just absolutely beck. Spectacular. Yeah, and we know that it's really famous here for lobster. We actually saw people literally pulling lobster out the water as we pulled in. Look, Look at the colours! I know, it's amazing. Oh my god, so gosh, vivid, isn't it's it? so amazing. This is just the best, guys. We are so lucky. I have to say, I saw a cruise as well, which comes from the UK in, um, I think it's September 2023. How amazing would that be? I think it's like a 23-day cruise on the Sky Princess. Comes all the way here, all of these ports, and goes back to the UK. You don't even have to fly. How amazing is that? Have you been cruise shopping again? I've been cruise shopping. I was very tempted by it. It was a very long cruise. But just imagine coming here, having not to fly from the UK. Like, does it get any better? This town is like the perfect town. I do feel like I've been transported to like a, a movie at fall or at Christmas. Quaint, gorgeous, the houses are all like proper stereotypical houses that you see in movies. What an amazing port. Why haven't we cruised here before now? It's just blooming awesome. This is like too cute. Even that gas station is legitimately adorable. It looks like some sort of like fairy tale Truman Shore type of village. It's beautiful. And we're like typical tourists and getting excited by like the post Oh my boxes. God, UPS van. <laughs> the UPS it's, van. It's just like a movie. <laughs> the letter boxes with the little flags and even the, um, even the parking meters are so cute and like really stereotypical American. I love it. And this is the little hotel the lady buys, does up at Christmas time and then makes a massive success and finds a husband. And she's doing well for herself. There's no vacancies. This is legitimately real life Disneyland. Crazy, it's, it's amazing. I, I, haven't, I genuinely haven't seen anything like this before. It's like the most little magical town ever that definitely has been used for a movie before it must have been. Oh my gosh, I just saw the movie theater. I just can't, it's just too magical. A girl dressed as a goth just walked past and ruined it all. I felt like I was in like the Stepford Wives or Desperate Housewives there for a second. And then this goth lady walked past, ruined it all. She was out of character. I want to live here. Can I live here, please? This is amazing. We got treats from the Pink Bakery. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I got a whoopie pie. What the heck's a whoopie pie? And it looks, it's sending me whoopie, so I'm happy with that. Let's have a little taste of it, shall we? Slap me with a habit and call me Whoopi Goldberg. Where have these blooming whoopie pies been all my life? They are, at, oh my gosh. It's like tangy and creamy and whoopie. I guess that's what it's called, whoopie pie. This town of Bar Harbour has finished me off. This is absolutely freaking delicious. I'm inhaling it. Don't worry, David, I've left you some. I have left me the tiniest little bit. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you have literally left me the fingered bit that you were holding with. I kind of just inhaled the whole thing. I'm really sorry. <gasps> Thanks. Everybody's looking at me like I'm a monster. Thanks for my crumbs, Ben. You're welcome. What time's it open till? Shall we go and get a box to take back to the ship? Tempted. I got you something else as well. What the heck is this, David? <gasps> it's a peanut butter and chocolate slab. Call me Dolly Parton and make me work nine to five. Because that, my friends, is probably one of the most delicious things I have ever put in my mouth. Holy love of everything. That is, it's like peanutty, salty, creamy, chocolatey. Damn, this is, this is the best. Well, stick a wig on me and call him Ella and John. That's delicious. I don't even know what you just said there. What was that accent? That's you, that's what you sound like. Stick a wig on me and call me Elton John. That's delicious. <laughs> wow, really happy. One of our favorite ports ever. Time to head back to the ship. Let's go. A little bit of a queue to get back on the ship, but it's only a few minutes because we've got plenty of ships coming. Then we're going to eat somewhere brand new where we haven't eat, eaten before on Princess. Excited. I feel like I'm queuing for a ride at Disney World. <laughs> Me too. Even like all the detail and the way they've put lobster tanks out. Not tanks, nets and things. Like it's all themed. It's very strange. Really surreal. 
while Bar Harbour is not giving up is it it's still giving us beautiful views right into the night had such a good day here i can't wait to come back loved it so so much right we're gonna head down for dinner now because we are hungry all that walking has worked up an appetite oh so welcome to the salty dog dog <laughs> dog sounds like an insult let's start again welcome to the salty dog gastropubs we haven't eaten here before I can't even, I can't even speak. We've had such a wonderful day, but I'm really tired now because we've done lots of walking. But we've came to the gastro pub now. It's $18 per person and you get to pick two main courses and a dessert. So let's get ordering, shall we? I'm starving. Ooh, so we've got our appetizers. Now these are breadsticks with a cheese beer fondue and I am here for it. Right. I'm sold, I'm signed up. Right, I'm dipping in and I'm going right in. I'm gonna stick this big piece of bread right in my mouth after I've jabbed it in some cheese. I'm a happy little dog. My tail is wagging very much indeed. Oh my God, it's delicious. I'm not letting this cheese go to waste. It's like the best shot ever. Yummy. Our first courses came, I got the halloumi cheese. And if anybody knows me, they'll know I absolutely love halloumi cheese. Delish, really tasty, fresh tasting, everything's crunchy, lovely. Holy moly, I went for the poutine, but it's not any poutine, it's poutine with beef short rib. Oh my gosh, does this look like a taste sensation? The beef short rib is absolutely delicious. It's so flavorful, packed full of flavor, juicy and delicious. Look at that, she's dripping. Super flavorful. Oh, woof, woof, delicious. I went for the Beyond Burger, which is the vegetarian option. And look at this for the size of a burger. So it's totally vegetarian and it's the official Beyond Meat, which I've had loads of times before and I love. Meaty, which is, I know it's not meat, but it is really good and really nice flavor as well. Delish, if you love a burger and you're a vegetarian, this is the best thing to have, amazing. I got the chicken burger and I'm mixing things up because I had the poutine. I got some sweet potato fries because that's an option as well. Am I the only one who thinks that potatoes are absolutely amazing? I mean, they make fries, they make chips, they make vodka. All of the other vegetables must be like jealous. Because like, like David's Beyond Burger, this is a piece of meat and a half, isn't it? How good is that? Look at the scale on my head. I've got a big head, guys, if you ever meet me. So you can see how big this burger is. Oh, super tender, juicy meat but really, really crispy batter. It's got some sauce in there as well, which tastes really nice. It's almost like fruity and delicious. Really, really good. Sweet potato fries, yum. Lovely meal, I'm so glad we came here. So dessert time has come and I got the bourbon chocolate cream and it comes with a caramel popcorn on the top. Delicious dark chocolate mousse and you get the crunch from the caramel and the whipped cream as well. That popcorn is so tasty. Really, really delicious. I'm at Wimbledon because I went for a very British dessert. It's strawberries and cream. That's lovely. It's super refreshing, but not too heavy because you saw all of those desserts I had earlier on in Bay ha in Bar Harbour. Oh my gosh. And the delicious crunch on that honeycomb as well. Really good. Been really impressed with this meal. I really have. I'm tired of you, David. Wow, yeah, I am tired. These port days are so much fun, but they do really take it out of you. Oops, I'm trying to walk backwards after being tired. It's not a good idea. And I'm in a bit of a food, a food sleep thing as well. Thank you so much for watching this first episode on board the beautiful Enchanted Princess. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button because we've got so much more content coming. Yes, because we're going to Canada. First time. time Big thank you to our patrons as well. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to become a patron, in return you get extra benefits like ad-free videos. Plus we also do a patron Zoom call every single month. And we do lots more as well. You can find out more in the description section below. <laughs> Something's <laughs> making me laugh. <laughs> I was pulling faces you can't see. It's so funny. I'm so tired guys. Oh my God, the jet lag combined with oh. these ports. It's a blubbing killer in it. I want my beautiful princess dream bed. She's like a marshmallow. Anyway, that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising! I'm done. Turn the light off. Right.